morning everyone this is ravi kumar standing for you for narayana online classes today for sarl mathematics we are going to discuss definition of a sarl for the topic sarls now how do we define a sarl according to the definition of sarl if a is any positive real number and n is a positive integer not equal to 1 it should not be 1 then n root a or a to the power of 1 by n n root a you can write as a to the power of 1 by n is called a sort if it is not a rational number if the result is n root a result is not a rational number then we should call n root a or a to the power of 1 by n as a sort for example if we take cube root of 4 this is going to be cube root of 4 can be given as 2 square that is 2 to the power of 2 by 3 because n root a we can write as a to the power of 1 by 3 1 by n, so q root of 4 is q root of 2 square, and that is q to the power of 2 by 3. This is not a rational number, so we can call q root of 4 as a sort. Now we will see few problems and few more terms related to the sort. That is, in n root a, this n is called order of the sort. A is called radicand, and L root is called radical sign. So, if we have a third L root A, then N is called order of the third. A is called the radicand, and L root is called radical sign. The other name for the third is radical. Third we can call is called as radical. Now we will see few problems on this topic. The first problem is four root sixty-eight. What is the radicand? What is the order? This is the question. Find the radicand and order of the third four root. Here, radicand is 68, and the order is 4. So it is a fourth order third. Now, is 4 root 625 a third or not? Is 4 root 625 a third or not? For that, what we have to do? We have to convert 625 as product of prime factors. In that process, 625 to be 5, 125 is 625. Again, 5, 125 is 125. 5, 5 is 25. So, 625 can be written as 5 to the power of 4. Now, 4 root 625 we can write as 4 root. 5 to the power of 4. That is otherwise 5 to the power of 4 by 4. That is 5, which is a rational number. Therefore, 4 to 625 is not a third. According to the definition of third, if n to the a is not resulting in a rational number, then only we call it as a third. But here, four root of six point five is resulting as a rational number, so we cannot call it as a third. So this is not a third. Now we we'll move to the next question. Cube root of twenty five is a third, but Root twenty-five is 
not assert. Do you agree with this statement? Do you agree with this statement? Fine. For this, we we'll start in this way. 25, we know that it can be written as 5 square. If you write as a product of prime numbers, 25 is 5 square. Then, cube root of 25 is going to be cube root of 5 square, that is 5 to the power of 2 by 3, which is not a rational number. Therefore, cube root of 25 is a sir. Whereas, root 25 to take, that is root 5 square, that is going to be 5 over 2 by 2, that is 5, this is a rational number. Therefore, we can say root 25 is not a sir. So the statement is cube root 25 is a third, but root 25 is not a third. Do we agree? So you must agree for the statement because cube root 25 is proven to be a third, and root 25 is proven to be not a third. Now, let us take next question. Is 4 into cube root of 16 is third. Is 4 into cube root of 16 is third. Okay. For that, first let us understand whether cube root of 16 is third or not. If you take 16, if you write it as a product of prime, prime factors, it is 2 to the power of 4. Now, cube root of 16 is going to be cube root of 2 to the power of 4. That is 2 to the power of 4 by 3, which is not a rational number. Therefore, cube root of 16 is a third. Now, a third is multiplied by a rational number. According to the properties of thirds, a combination of rational number and third. Product of a third with a rational number results in a third, results as a third. Therefore, 4 into cube root of 16 is a third. It's a fixed third. Now, let us see the next question. Is fifth root of 7, 7, 7, 6. A third or not? Is fifth root of seven 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 six a third or not? Now to find out whether it is a third or not, what we have to take seven 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 six. We have to write factors. This we have to find its prime factors. Let us take two two three zero two eight zero two eight zero two eight zero. Next we have to nineteen times four four. Next if you take 2, it is 9 to 18, 7 to 0, then 2. Again you can take 2, that is 4 to 8, 8 to 16, and 6. Again if you take 2, we are going to have 2, 40, 3. Now, let us take 3, that is 81. Next let us take 3, that is 27, 3, 9, and 3, 3. So, 7, 7, 7, 6 we can write as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. It is 3 power 5. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. That is 3 power 5. So this can be written as 2 power 5 into 3 power 5. Or we can write it as 6 to the power of 5. Now, fifth root of 7, 7, 7, 6 is going to be fifth root of 6 to the power of 5. That is going to be 6 power 5 upon 5. That is 6, which is a rational number. Therefore, fifth root of 7, 7, 7, 6 is not a third. It is a real number. It is a rational number. 